guys, it's me. I'm back at you this week with some more fun art stuff. I really miss you guys and I hope you enjoyed this week's projects. Love y'all and I can't wait to see what you do. Bye guys. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, we are going to create this beautiful, you know, partially three-dimensional um, flower project with a vase and some beautiful flowers coming out of it. And um, I decided to sort of do flowers this whole week for Earth Day, um, which was last week, I believe, or maybe it was this week. No, it was this week. Anyway, um, so all the projects this week are regarding flowers. Um, so we are going to get started. All right, so these are the materials that you are going to need. Um, you'll need a large black piece of paper. When I say large, I mean just the size of a piece of construction paper from whatever you have at home. Um, if you do not have a black piece of construction paper, it's okay. You just want to have some nice contrast against the colorful flowers. So just find another neutral color. Um, it could even work on white. That's fine too. And then you want a piece of paper that's going to be the color of your vase, like the vase before you decorate the vase. So I'm using tan, like a beige-ish color. And then you want a rainbow of colors for your flowers. So you can see I've got, you know, all the colors that I could find in my construction paper pack. And then you will need a glue stick. Uh, you'll need a Sharpie marker or a, um, a black pen or a black uh, permanent marker pen. Uh, you need scissors. You need a ruler. And I think that is it. Okay, so let's begin. All right, my friends. So you can go ahead and put your black paper and your tan paper to the side because you will not need those yet. Um, and then let's go ahead and start working on drawing our flowers. Okay, so what you want to do is like on my vase, I've got um, seven or eight flowers. So I would say that depending on how large you're drawing your flowers, you'll need anywhere between seven to 12 flowers. Um, again, it depends on how large you're drawing them. I think the larger, the better, but still pay attention to the size of the paper that we're using. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw several and you can follow along um, or you can draw your own, okay? And if you are not seeing something, just go back and look at it again. So I think I'm going to do a variety of flowers. So the first flower that I want to do is going to be a rose style flower. So I kind of start like that. And that's kind of the center of the flower. And then I do a curve like that. And then I overlap that curve a little bit from the other side. And so it begins to grow in that way. But when I start my next curve, I always start it not on the very end of that last curve, but somewhere before it ends, okay? So that there's this feeling of overlapping and layering, okay? So there's another, and I just kind of keep going around and doing that until I get to the size that I want. So the size of paper that I'm using right now, just to give you like a frame of re reference of the size of the flower, I've cut my construction paper in half so my pieces are half a sheet of paper, essentially. Um, and I think I will stop here. Okay, so there is my rose. And maybe I'll do one more uh, flower in my red paper because I'm gonna end up having actually more flowers than I probably need, but it's better to have more than less. Um, for this one, let's do a this kind of flower, I don't know. Um, what it's called, but <laughs> it's pretty nonetheless. Circle and then two sort of curved thing petals that come to a point. And then same thing on this side and same thing on this side. And then those areas there in between each petal, you can do that. Sort of build it that way. And there's flower number two. I'm gonna put that aside and move on to a new piece of paper. Um, for this one, I'm going to do sort of a uh, daisy style, so little petals. But one thing I want you to notice as I start moving around, as my wrist starts to get a little uncomfortable, I'm going to start moving or spinning my paper around to accommodate the area that I'm working on. 
When I do that, I'm able to have symmetry around my flower, okay? So you see how I'm spinning that around as I move through this? That is going to help create balance and more symmetry in my flower, okay? So I'm gonna move on. Let's do a pink something. Um, I'm gonna do a pink, I don't know what it's called, just some kind of flower with some big round petals on it. But these petals are going to be layered like this. Maybe it's an orchid. <laughs> yeah, let's call it an orchid. But notice how these curves are overlapping on one another. All right, uh, I'm gonna do another daisy. So coming around, spinning that paper around as I work. Oh my God, oh my God, I didn't start it. Okay, spinning around. All right, I'm gonna put that paper aside. Move on to yellow. I'm gonna do a couple of sunflowers. So they are long and skinny. They come up to a tip. So it comes out a little, back in a little point, come back to the center. Again, spinning my paper around as I do this so I can have some symmetry within the shape of my flower. All right, so there we go, there we go, and there we go. All right, so once you have that, I would then add a partial petal in between each petal, okay? Oh. Again, spinning my paper around. This one's gonna be fun to cut out, <laughs> and that's okay. You can pause the video and you'll get to have the time you need. All right, so yellow, maybe I'll do one yellow daisy. Now, I don't wanna do any green flowers. I'm saving my green paper for my flower petals. So let's see how many I have now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me get, let me do a light blue and a purple. Okay, so light blue, let's do, let's do one of these guys. And it layers again. Just going around and again, if you need to turn your paper as you're working, then that's what you do, okay? You do whatever helps you feel comfortable as you're working. At no point should your hand or your fingers or your wrists be straining to do this. Okay, and then I'll do a purple flower. And let's just do one of these. I'm going a little faster in this one because I showed you this one earlier, going a little bit slower. So you can always take your time, pause the video, take your time. Okay, and now I'm gonna do these round curves in between my pointed petals. Okay, so I believe I now have plenty of flowers, okay? They're roughly all the same size. Some are a little bigger, some are slightly smaller, but it would make sense in a bouquet full of lots of flowers. Okay, then you're gonna start cutting them out. Now, the thing that I need you to remember when you're cutting is the easiest way to cut something, especially if you have like a lot of leftover paper, is to cut your single pieces into sort of chunks like that, okay? And then when it comes to, especially the flowers that have like points like this, the best thing to do is to cut from tip to tip on all of them, like this. I'm not cutting the tips off, I'm cutting from tip to tip of the pointy part so that I end up with this leftover sort of chunks in between my petals. 
And then once you do that, it's pretty easy to then go in, spin your paper around a little bit and get those pieces out, okay? So you're gonna cut all of your pieces out anywhere, I don't know, 10, 12, eight, nine, it kind of depends on the size of your flowers, but you'll cut those out. Um, don't, don't, don't accidentally cut into the flower. You wanna leave your designs on there. Um, so fast forward, you have now cut out all of your flowers. Here they are. <gasps> I'm so fast, right? Now I, I did some of these before I started the video. So you pause, you cut all your flowers out. I've got some flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and put those aside. And then I'm gonna go to my next piece of paper, which is gonna be the color of my vase, okay? So the vase, there are particular measurements that we really need to focus on for our vase. And I've written them down here, but you need to grab your ruler and grab a marker or a pencil, whatever you have to write with. And you want your vase to be approximately, you want it to be approximately four to five inches tall, okay? So this piece here is four to five inches tall. So I'm gonna put my ruler right on the edge there and I'm going to number it over here, as closest to the one and here's the four. So I'm gonna mark it at the four. Okay, so that's where, that's how high it's gonna be. And then it needs to be six to seven inches wide, okay? So I am going to come over here and put my ruler right on my mark. And I'm gonna go seven or six or seven inches wide. Okay, so that's left to right. So there's one, two, oh, oh, slide. When a ruler slides, it's because I'm not holding it right in the center, nice and hard, nice and firm. Three, four, five, six, let's do six and a half to be safe, okay? Maybe seven, let's just do seven, there you go. All right, and then you can go ahead and just do your vertical line on this side. So out of that paper you have for your vase, you have basically a rectangle within a rectangle. You're going to cut that out. And then, You are going to put the extra paper away and you're gonna come up with an idea for a design on your vase, okay? So um, on this one that I did earlier, I sort of had these stripes on here and then I had these little scraps that look almost like mosaic inside of my vase, I mean on the top of my vase, um, on the surface. So you can decide on whatever you wanna do. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do some curved stripes. And the reason I'm sort of drawing on here, I'm gonna end up covering this up, but I'm just drawing on here so that I have an idea of where I'm gonna place those pieces, okay? And remember, you have all this extra paper that you didn't, that you have left over from your flowers, right? So basically, you guys, can take your extra pieces of paper, the extra stuff that's left over after you've cut everything. So I've got this here that's left over. I've got this chunk of orange that's left over. And a chunk of pink that's left over. Now if you've cut your flowers out, you're not gonna have the flowers on your paper anymore. So you should already hopefully have these pieces just kind of sitting aside. Um, don't throw them away because you will use them. You know Miss Jenkins, she likes to be efficient. Okay, so, and these papers have not been cut at all. So you can decide on sort of what you'd like to do for your, for your design. So I'm going to go ahead and do a curved stripe thing, okay? So I'm going to look at matching. So since, since I want my stripe to go from side to side, I'm going to match up my red paper, for example, to this rectangular paper and I'm going to create a curve, okay? And it's, it's definitely gonna be wider than it needs to be, and that's okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a parallel curve to that, okay? So remember, this is gonna be the same size as this paper, so if you want to even trace this onto your red paper, and like I said, you guys can do whatever you want. You can do polka dots, you can do you know, organic or geometric shapes. You can do a heart. I mean, whatever you want to do, stripes or whatever. So there's going to be my first stripe that I cut out. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and do, what color do I want to do? I'm going to do a dark, no, I'm going to do a mint green or a light green. So same thing, I'm going to attach this here. And the reason my curved line is curved is because I want it to look like the vase is round more than just being perfectly straight right to left. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and make my other curve stripe. All right, once you have those, you can go ahead. Since I'm doing the exact same thing, I'm going to cut them together. And I'm going to stack the two pieces of paper on top of each other and cut the two curves out. And I'm going to put those aside for a second until I clear my space. And then I'm going to grab this paper and I'm going to go ahead and glue my pieces on here. Okay, so I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to put this one here and I'm going to put this one here like that. So you're going to use your glue stick or if you have liquid glue, that's fine too. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put it right here. Notice it's a smiley face mouth, not a sad face mouth, because the idea is for it to look round and more realistic. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Glue on my paper, attach it. Okay, all right. So then, boys and girls, with your rectangle, you're going to want to take it like this and put your ruler against it. And because our vase from edge to edge, what we can see of it on my example here is four and a half inches, all right? So I think I cut mine to seven inches. So somewhere in here, I'm gonna end up measuring four and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark it at the one and I'm going to mark it at the five. I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna mark it to the five. That's gonna be about how wide my vase is, or maybe five and a half. It just kind of depends on the way you're gonna add your, your pieces. So this is going to tell you basically where you're gonna end up folding your paper, okay? Because what's gonna happen is this is gonna end up getting folded in a little bit to create the, the roundness of the vase. Okay. The next step, boys and girls, is to create your stems, okay? So your stems, it's all about how many flowers you have. You need one stem, one green stem per flower, right? So I would stack up green papers on top of each other. And again, these are all like half sheets that I have. Um, and then I have this additional piece that's just kind of left over. And I've got several pieces stacked on top of each other. It depends on how well you are at cutting. And do your best to cut some slim pieces. If you have a hard time cutting them to where they're pretty symmetrical up and down, then what you wanna do is use a ruler to actually draw a line that you then cut on. Okay, so you've got some stems here. And these stems are gonna get glued onto here, okay, onto the black paper. Now, the black paper, you wanna have it lengthwise. And then, remember how we just did this? We wanna go ahead and put this down here at the bottom in the middle. And where I marked my lines here, I think this is five inches is the space that I marked. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it on my black paper as well, okay? The reason being is because we're going to glue in all the stems before we attach our vase and we want to make sure that our stems all start here. It's okay if they come out a little bit, but we definitely want them not to go wider than this space right here, okay? So let me just write it with the white pencil so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, okay? You guys see that? All right, so next we're going to add our stems with glue. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add some glue in here like this in various places. And I want some long stems and some short stems and various various lengths of stems. That's how you kind of get that nice, um, pretty, uh, full bouquet of flowers. So some of my stem pieces are going to be 
um, hanging off of my paper and some of them are going to be just right. Some of them are going to go a little bit higher onto my paper, okay? And I'm just alternating colors of my stems. You don't have to have two greens. It doesn't really matter. It's essentially, it's all preference and it's all about what you have at home to be able to do this. So you can see how it's pretty narrow down here and, you know, a full bouquet is always going to have a lot of action up here and just the stems down here, which is why it looks like that. And what's going to happen is you may feel like you don't need to use all of your stems right now but you might have extra, so just leave them aside. So now you've got that there. Now that you have them in place, this extra, these extra pieces that are hanging off, you can just trim those off because you won't need them anymore. And now we're gonna add our vessel, okay? Now, this mark that we made here, go ahead and draw a vertical line, a very light vertical line with your pencil that goes up right on that mark that you already had there, that five inch space or four and a half inch space. And that is where you're going to fold your paper, okay? You're gonna make a crease. So you're gonna go like this and fold it right on your line, like that. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side so that you have both pieces folded there. And then the center part you're simply going to kind of curl it or curve it on itself. Okay, think about if you were to cut a toilet paper, uh, toilet paper roll, empty roll, and what you could do with it, right? So there is our piece. Now this part, this folded part that you're looking at here, that is where you're gonna put the glue. You're not gonna put the glue on the other piece at all, but you wanna put a nice, significant amount of glue here on the folded part so glue, 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 and then once it's folded, you'll take it and you'll put your first piece right here, right at that mark or right on top of the mark that was there, and you'll go like this, and you'll put it like that. So it's going to look like it's kind of, you know, opened right here, right? Like it looks like an open vase, right? If your marks are showing, you just erase, no problem. Erase, erase. And, and then if you have a stem that's you know not quite in the right place, you wanna get that glued down, take that stem off, and just reattach it somewhere else because you can still get in there since there's a hole in there, okay? All right, once you have that, you can start attaching your flowers. So, you put some glue down, attach your flower right at the top of the stem. Um, I'm gonna add another stem right in here because I want some lower ones. So I'm gonna attach another stem right here. And I'm gonna put this flower there. And there we go. And another flower here. And there we go. And you don't want a bunch of gaps of spaces in between your flowers. You definitely want there to be um, some overlapping action. And it will go there. And this red one can go over here. And I'll do this blue one right here. Orange right here green one right here, and then I'll put this little yellow one right here. Okay, so there we are. You have your vase.